Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I'd like to take a minute and talk about the color wheel. If you've seen the video about my sewing space, you would have noticed this big color wheel right here by my desk. I like one of them hanging on the wall because it gives me a good opportunity from standing anywhere in my space, look up, and it helps me try to decide on colors. But I also have a lot of different notions that can help me choose different colors by using the color wheel theory. And I'll show you some of the things that I like using. Some color wheels are a little bit smaller, so you do not have as many colors on them. You can get some that maybe have more. These colors, we are able to compare with our colors on our fabrics. Now, they're not going to be exact, but it's going to help us choose something similar. And when we look at the back of this color wheel, it has all of these little diagrams. These little diagrams are recommendations on how to put colors together. When we look at the one, it has three colors. It's recommending the one, 17, and color nine. So we're gonna be able to take that chart into this wheel and help pick colors. But there's more than one way of mixing colors, and that's what these little charts represent. And I'll show you that in a bigger book. If you're trying to choose colors that are going to be matching or coordinating or something that's just going to look great in a quilt or anything that we're working on, the color wheel really does come in handy. And you can get this color tool. So we have colors on one side and on the back side, we have those same charts. This particular color tool also has a green and a red piece of plastic. This green and red plastic helps us establish values. Certain values and designs will disappear when we put this sheet over top of them or look through this sheet. When you look through the value finders, the colors disappear, but the values are easy to see. So this little color tool gives us colors that we can match up with our fabrics and compare them. And then when we turn the cards over, it gives us different options of matching up colors. So both the color tool and the wheel will do the same thing. What we're looking at is putting colors together. We can get the same information in another form and it's sort of this spinny wheel. When we open it up, we have this color wheel with a little end on it. And then inside, we have all of these discs that have different cutouts in them. And there's 10 of these because there's 10 different ways we can put fabrics together. Here's an example of one that has these two ends that are cut out. And this would be fabrics that are going to be complement colors. So anywhere in this chart, those colors are going to be able to go together. So we can just turn that chart until we find the colors that are closest to what we're having and we know what's going to match. And because there's more than one way to put our colors together, there's more than one of these charts. So I can choose that main fabric and I now have two other lines of fabric that can go with it. So it won't matter what fabrics we are using, what we want to do is try to find a color that we can relate it to in one of these charts. From there, we can tell what colors are going to go with it. When you have a large fabric stash and you're not sure how to match up colors, something like a color wheel is very helpful. So this rotating wheel, once again, is that same idea on these color wheels. This gives us an idea on how to put those colors together. This is just a fun way of doing it. And they store right inside. If you're really trying to learn the colors and how to put colors together, we can get a workbook. And the workbook is exactly as it says. It's a workbook. So it gives us projects that we can color in but it also teaches us 
different values on that color wheel. We can color our own color wheels in. And it's a whole workbook that we're going to be able to color in and have some fun as we're learning about the color wheel. I love the big color wheel on my wall. I love looking at the colors from anywhere in the room. On the back side, I could switch it over so it does give me these little pie charts. But I like having this little one or some of the other ones so that I can bring it right to my workstation. It's easier for me to pull out those colors, lay them up against the fabric and compare them. The color wheel is pretty much a standard thing across all the industries and it's quite fascinating to see how those fabrics and those colors go together. I'll put a link in the description to some of the color wheels that I have so that you can check them out just in case you'd be interested in learning a little bit more about color. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.